everyone. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to do some mouse aiming and shooting for a side-scrolling game. So let's get right to it. Uh, already put a background in here. We're going to need uh, three objects. We're going to need our player. We are going to need our gun. And we're going to need our bullet. So let's rename this. Actually, yeah. go over here, rename our first active to player. Rename our second active into, let's just call it Bazooka. And we'll name our third one Bullet. Now I've made some art in advance. It's really terrible art, so you're gonna have to apologize. Or wait, I'm gonna have to apologize. You don't have to apologize. I'm gonna apologize to you guys, because this is bad. This is terrible art. Um, I made this in like 20 seconds in Inkscape, so this guy looks really weird. Here's my weird dude with a huge nose. <clears throat> he kind of looks like a like a lemming from lemmings, if you've ever played lemmings. All right, so we got that dude. Here's our bazooka. Bazooka is significantly better than that guy. Here's my bazooka. It says kaboom on it. Can't really see that too well. And we have a bullet. I know bazookas don't shoot bullets, but whatever. We're not really gonna put too much energy into this, into this art anyway. All right, so we don't want the bullet to create at start, so let's uncheck that. Everything else is fine. Um, okay, so what we want to do is insert a new object. We are going to insert a physics object, the engine, physics engine object. This way we can do physics. All right, and uh, we need to make our bullet a physics object because we're going to be messing with this and giving it some physics properties. So we want to go under our uh, movement tab, select the static, and if you see down here, there's some physical movements. This is These are different movements that are affected by the physics engine. We're going to make it a static movement. Um, okay, that works. <clears throat> now, what we want to do, first thing, is set an always command. We need the bazooka to always follow the player, so just always set the position of the bazooka to our player. Um, let's give the player a movement real quick just so we can test that. We're gonna give him just uh, an eight direction movement because I don't wanna code him, so we're gonna give him a built-in movement. Let's give that a little test and see what happens. Okay, so he moves around um, and the bazooka is following him, so that's what we want. Now we need to set the angle of our bazooka, so to always uh, sort of angle up with the mouse. So always, and then click on our bazooka, and we're gonna say um, angle, we're gonna set the angle and then go back to the bazooka and click on position. We want to find angle of a vector <clears throat> and plug in for the X and the Y. You can plug in X mouse, which will give us the X coordinate of our mouse and Y mouse to give us the Y coordinate of our mouse. Uh, select one for maximum quality, unless you're concerned with uh, how the game is running. If you need to save some processing, you can always make it zero. It'll look a lot worse. Uh, all right, so let's give that a test. This should make the mouse or should make the bazooka follow the mouse, and it does. All right. <clears throat> now it is gonna swivel on its hot spot, um, so you wanna make sure that the hot spot is in the center. And let's make the action point over at the end here, so that should be where the bullet comes from. Um, and hot spot of, make the hot spot, yeah, hot spot in the center here too. That's fine. Okay, <clears throat> so we want to make it so we can fire the bullet, so we're gonna say, um, on the mouse, we'll say user clicks. We'll just have it be clicked with the left button. What we're going to do is create the bullet object. We can create it wherever, it doesn't matter because we're going to change its position. <clears throat> um, wait, is that what we're going to do? No. Sorry about that. Uh, we are going to actually create this relative to our bazooka. I made a mistake. <clears throat> okay, so when the user clicks the left button, we're going to create our bullet next to the bazooka, and then we need to set the angle of the bullet to match the bazooka, so, you know, if we're firing out of, a, of a, uh, a gun, we want the bullet to obviously be having the same angle, uh, so otherwise it wouldn't look right. So, click on our bullet and set the angle to just grab, the, click on the bazooka and grab the current angle. <clears throat> and again, we will do max quality. So now they should have the same angle. Uh, what we want to do now is apply a physics movement to our bullet, so we're going to click on movement, physics, and we are going to apply or set linear velocity. 
Uh, we're gonna make it like 200. <clears throat> uh, and we need now we need the angle. Again, we can just grab our angle from our bazooka because obviously it's gonna be shooting the same angle. So let's see if that works. Yeah, look at those big old freaking 50 cows coming out. Pow, 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 pow. All right. <clears throat> now these have physics on them, so let me show you. It can actually do, oh, not object, uh, active. It can do some pretty cool stuff. The physics engine is really powerful, so it can have some really interesting sort of uh, collisions and whatnot. So we're gonna grab a backdrop object, and I have a piece of art for this one too. And again, this one is really bad. It's a block. So we're gonna throw a block in here, and we're gonna make the block a obstacle, otherwise it can't be collided with. <clears throat> and we're going to say whenever the bullet collides with a backdrop, we are going to go to the movement and select stop. So it will stop the movement. You could also destroy it and have an effect if you wanted, but we're not going to do that. Boom. It's kind of sliding. Let's, uh, let's move closer here. So yeah, it's got physics. It's not super realistic though. Um, I bet if I lowered the... Lowered the... Um, the gravity for a bullet, that might affect stuff. Uh, it will be affected by gravity. So if you click on the movement tab, there's all kinds of parameters for physics objects. You can, there's density, which is you know how, how dense it is. Uh, it essentially like weighs more. Uh, friction, elasticity, gravity scale. Gravity scale is how much it is affected by the gravity that you set in the engine. And if we had zero, it would not be affected. Negative, it's going to be affected negatively, so it'll go up. Um, so let's make it like 30 or something. Give that a shot. Well, they are floaty now. <clears throat> Let's just make that 100 again. Um, hmm. Instead of shape of first image, I'm gonna try a box and I'm going to have bullet selected. There it goes, that's better. <clears> that <throat> gives us more angular. Kinda looks like he's shooting out uh, beer bottles or something. <clears throat> anyway, um, that's how you do it. That is how you have uh, mouse mouse aiming. It's actually really easy. So um, I hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comments, and I will try to get back to them or back yeah back to you uh, as soon as possible. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I know I'm stuttering and sounding kind of retarded in this one, but whatever. Later, guys. Mm -hmm.